So once when I had prawn toast in a restaurant, I loved it so much that I wanted to make it at home. So today I'm going to show you how to make prawn toast as well. This is a long-standing request of one of my subscribers. So I'm compelled to make it because I promised him to do it. So it's quite simple filled with you know flavor and nice and crunchy it's quite i'm not exaggerating it it's super simple recipe so i'm gonna take 250 grams of fresh prawns pop it into a blender i'm gonna blend that all I'm just gonna save some two or three prawns to keep it on the top of the bread so just two prawns to do I'm going to add two cloves of garlic and a small piece of ginger there. Just chop it roughly so it's easier to blend it in the blender. Pop that in and let's all add the spices to make it more flavorful. Add in a white pepper powder required salt. I'm not adding more salt at this time because I'm going to add soy sauce to it. Just add in a dash of light soy sauce. A spoon of sesame oil to give that nutty flavor and a dash of Shaozing rice wine to give that good flavor and taste as well. A pinch of sugar to add the hint of sweetness to it. So I'm taking an egg white. Egg white acts as a binding agent. Separate the egg white carefully. Pop that in. And now I'm going to blend it. Blend it into a fine paste. Look at that. So here I've got the prawn paste which we prepared now. I'm going to, I've got bread slices but I prefer white bread. So I've, I've just trimmed the edges off. You could either have the edges on or take it off. Just dab it there, spread it all over. And it smells so delicious. And now, I've got sesame seeds on a plate. I'm going to pop in the bread onto the sesame seed, the prawn side. And take that out. Let it do. Let me also show you another bread with the saved prawn. Apply it all over. In the prawn. I'm just doing it by the sides so the prawn doesn't separate when you fry it. Pop that on it and give it a gentle press. There you go. I prepared all the bread slices with the prawn paste and the sesame seeds. Now I've kept the oil in a pan and just to make a note here, the oil should not be super hot. I mean I'm going to pop in a bread slice Look at that, it fizzes up immediately. So this is the right temperature where I'm going to pop in the bread slices. Oops. The sesame side goes into the oil first. Okay, gently pop that in. Usually when it comes to frying, prawn and fish gets cooked fairly quickly. So I'm not going to leave it for long. I just left it for a minute or so. I'm gonna flip it over. Look at that, it has cooked really well. And the other side, you don't need to cook for longer. So I have drained off the oil. Pop it in a plate, like so. Let me do the rest of the prontos. The sesame side first. 
It smells so yummy and I can't wait to have it. Flip it over. Look at that, it's nice and brown. I mean the other side of the bread would get cooked fairly quickly, super quick. So you don't need to leave it for long. That is it, as simple as that. This particular prawn toast, I have not trimmed the edges. I love this. It's come in perfect shape. Now prawn toast is ready. I'm going to make them into two halves. Just cut them into triangles. Look how crispy it is. Look at that. A perfect crispy prawn toast is ready. I'm going to taste that and see. There you go. Yummy and crispy prawn toast is ready. Let me taste and see. Mm. It's super yummy and nutty and flavorsome and crispy. I don't have words to say. You, you guys have to try it out and see. Do try this recipe out at home and leave your comments below. Hit the subscribe button. Thanks. Bye.